Perfect. So um, I'm, I, I really believe that Swap and Scalper is a service that you can really make money fast. Um, I use Swap and Scalper every single time. On, and I really love actually what, what Swap and Scalper is doing because I've been able actually to make 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 pips and above um per, per per day like per day it's crazy times a dollar imagine is two three thousand dollars and above so what we're going to do is that i want to process you and help you and teach you and tell you what you need to do to be really good at swap and scalper all right so number one if you're brand new really important when you go on i am that center okay you go on i am that center you enter your username and password and after you go on um, academies, it's super important for you to watch those videos. So you're going to go on currency leverage English, and I want you to buy, uh, to buy, sorry, to watch those videos. I'm like, buy, <laughs> to watch those videos. So I want you to watch all those videos. The only video that you don't need to watch is the number 15. The reason why is because they teach you how to open a meta trader phone on your computer and you don't need that. Okay. But I want you guys to watch all those videos because it's so important to know the basics before you guys go to the to the event. So it's like actually building a house. We wanna build the foundation first and after the house is going to be built and that's why the house is actually uh, sustainable. So you need to go to the basics first. It's so important. This is where you guys are gonna learn about how to use trading view, how to, what is the difference between a buy and a sell? What is a pip? What is a lot size? Spending orders, spread, margin. It's so important, okay? I'm, I, I, I'm gonna keep actually talking about this over and over again, okay? Second of all, once this is done, I want you guys to go on go live, all right? You go and go live, and the indicator I want you guys to watch is you go on DCX, you're gonna want to watch Sean, okay? He's live every single Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern time, Tuesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And what we do, guys, is that we actually stream it for you. So we stream this those sessions for you at the exact same time so you guys can come make money with us. So you, you don't want to miss out on actually um, listening to Sean, all right? But once you go on Sean, you're going to click on, on this picture. You go on favorite sessions. And I want you guys to watch those two videos, Swap and Scalper Fundamental 1, and Swap and Scalper for Damo Tool Part 2, okay? The reason why is because you need to understand the strategy. So once this strategy is done, now I want you to watch a large, last video. It's my video, of course, of course, of course, you know. <laughs> but I want you to watch, actually, me teaching you guys on Swap and Scalper. The reason why I put this last is because you're going to watch two videos of Sean of an hour. So there's probably stuff that you're not going to retain. But watch, once you watch my video, it's all going to be all tied together, okay? So I'm going to post that in a general chat. General. So you guys can actually watch it, okay? Boom. So once it's done, now you're ready to actually come and trade with Sean every single time. But we're going to talk about it today. So guys, there's a blueprint. Um, I recommend you guys to go on your subcoin scalper, scalper i'm session again i center again you go on strategy once you go on strategy you're going to scroll down you go on dcx and swap print scalper boom now swap print scalper is open on swap print scalper there's two different pairs that you can actually watch there's two different pairs on swap print scalper that you can actually see so the first pair is btc and the second pair is Ethereum. So you can basically go and make money with BTC and Ethereum as well, okay? So what you need to understand is that there is actually steps to follow. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the trade room right now, and I'm going to share the steps to follow, okay? Trade room, one second, please. Can I just do, let me just try something, guys. I always love to try stuff. One second, please. Uh, more. Bruh. Is this working? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, it's all good. 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 It's all, good. It's all, good. It's all, good. all right, so. Share. Admit. Perfect. So I'm going to share this on the trade room. Try to be. 
try to be more simple, but it's all good. Boom. Perfect. The trailer is going to be full with so many stuff. It's going to be like really it's going crazy. Anyways, so now that we share it, now we're good to start. Okay. So we got steps to follow. So step number one, what we want to understand, what we want to do, guys, is that we want to move our candlesticks to line chart. Okay. So when you go on Swipe Coin Scalper, what do you see on the top left? You have the time frame. You have the type of the way that you want to see the market. You have your indicators and you have actually the pair, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to go here. We're going to click on candles and we're going to switch it, switch it to line chart. Okay. So step number one is done. You just follow the steps. Like the person that followed the steps more is going to make the most money. So you followed the, uh, you change it to candlesticks. Next, what you want to do now, number two is figuring out the 50 EMA. So the 50 MA, guys, is the yellow line. You guys see it? Drop a one in the chat. If you see the 50 MA, please. Drop a one in the chat. If you see the 50 MA, please. Okay? I want to make sure everybody sees it. Okay? It's the yellow, the yellow line right here. All right? So what they're saying, guys, is that if the blue line is above the yellow line, is a buy area. So there's more pressure on the buyers. If the blue line is below the yellow line, the sellers, there's more pressure on the sellers. So right now, I want you guys to write down in the chat, is the blue line right now above the yellow line or below the yellow line? Please write it down in the chat. I'm going to repeat my question. Please write down in the chat, if you think the blue line is above the yellow line or it's below the yellow line, right? Three people said above. I think we're... We're 17 people. I need 17 above or below. Let's go. Let's go. You got to interact. In my call, you got to interact. I want everybody to understand. Right? Above, right? So we're doing the work together. That's what I want you to, 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 to uh, write in the chat. Good. Somebody said something. So everybody said above. And somebody said above, but, but crossing. Exactly. Okay. So now we figure it out. We know, okay, the market right now is above the yellow line. Now, what we want to do, we want to identify the support and the resistance. So guys, support and resistance is super simple to understand. So let me just give you an example. One second, guys, because I'm really picky. I want to make sure. Okay, here we go. So support and resistance are really simple. Your resistance, write this down in your notes, is going to, to be your roof. And your support is going to be your floor. Okay? So once the market, what the market does every single time, it bounces from support to resistance. Support to resistance. Support to resistance. It's like, it's like a ball. When you bounce a ball, it either goes up or down. So it goes from support to resistance. And sometimes what the market is going to do is going to either break a support or resistance. And now that support that we have prior becomes now a brand new resistance. Okay. Let me give you guys another example. Let's say that you have a building. Okay. And you have different floors in the building. Let's say that this is floor one. This is floor two. Okay. So let's say that you on floor one right now and you're just like on floor one. So now we bouncing from resistance that is our roof to support, right? Now we decide to take the elevator to go to floor number two. So now we have to go through that resistance, right? So that new resistance, because we're on floor two, that resistance that we just break became now a floor, right? Think about this, right? You're in the elevator, you go through the resistance or the support. So now we're on floor two, and now this is now my new resistance and now my new support, okay? Hopefully it makes sense what I'm saying so far, because I'll make sure that it makes sense. So when we think about it, guys, if I bring you an image so we can actually understand this, right? What do we see here? Let's say this is floor number one, floor number two. Now we're bouncing resistance, support, resistance, support, resistance, support. 
we break the resistance, we go on floor two. Now that's a brand new resistance and that's a brand new support. So that resistance, because we're above it now, it becomes a support. Drop a one in the chat if it makes sense what I'm saying so far. And drop a two if it doesn't make sense so far, please. We need 17. We need 17, yes, sir. number one or number two. Amazing. No, 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 you can't. You can't, you can't drop five, five ones. It doesn't, it doesn't count for five ones. Don't try that. Okay. <laughs> so, right, just making sure resistance is support, right? It breaks um, second level, become a brand new um, a breakdown, okay? So now we, now we know this, okay? So, so you're doing a great job of explaining. Thank you. So now we know this, right? So, so now that we know that information, we need to apply that information, right? So now, what do they say? They say that between one to two days, it has to touch the resistance or the support three to five times. Between after three days and above, it has to touch the resistance or the support five to 10 times. So let me just show you guys an example. So now I'm gonna identify my resistance and my support, right? But look at this. At the bottom here, you're gonna see the dates, okay? You guys can see February 26, if I continue, at the bottom, February 25, so that's two days, right? So now, the market touches the resistance one time. Oh, okay. Two times, oh, okay. I think my, it was lower that I put it. Yeah, one time, two times, three times. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to set three because three to five times. So I'm good. Let me go on my candles just to show you guys. And I'm going to zoom in. You can see it here. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for my support. Oh, my God. One second. You know when you don't have a mouse, it's like, is guys go buy yourself a mouse is like $15 on Facebook marketplace you guys can get a mouse i promise you your life will be so much better <laughs> okay 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 focus really focus okay so look at this one support second support third support are we still in the first day yes we are Okay, second day between one to two days. Three support, four, five. You see that? Was it hard? It's not hard. It's just identifying the flow and the resistance. Now we're good. The flow resistance is done. We set it up. Now, let's not go over super trend today. I'll go over it another day. Now we have a form to follow. Guys, we got a form to follow. Okay. So for example, now we want to, now what we did is that we put a supported resistance. Now what we want to do, we want to put a levels of entry. And after I'll teach you how to enter into the market. Okay. Now we want to put a levels of entry. So now a line is at 39288. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it here, 39288 minus 100 pips makes what? 39188. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my second line, horizontal line, and I'm going to set that up to 39, 188. Oops. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. Uh, my bad. Plus, it's 39, 388. Sorry. So I'm going to set it up. 39, 388. Boom, 100 pips. Now I want to do the same thing for my support zone. Now it's at 38.922, 38.922. One second, guys, because I don't want to miss that trade. I'm just going to enter a trade at the same time. I have three minutes left. Okay, good. Now we said what? Um, uh, 38.922 minus 100. It makes what? 38, 822. 
right? So 38, 38, 822. So now guys, I have my levels so I can go and enter and, 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 and have my trades. So what I will do is that on my trading view, I will go on my trading view and set up those alerts. I will put the alert or where I'll put my support and resistance so I can be aware that a trade is coming because every candles guys are 15 minutes, right? So let's say for example, now it's 223. The next time I'm gonna look at my chart because it rang my alert, I'm gonna look it up at 230. After 2.30, 45, 3 o'clock, 3.15, and above and beyond. Because every 15 minutes, I will get a new candle. I don't need to stay in front of my chart 24 hours a day. I have my alert on trading view, and I'm good to go. So here's how I'm going to enter the trade. Drop a one in the chat if it makes sense so far what I'm saying, just to make sure before I enter, I enter the trade, I enter, um, I continue. Drop some ones in the chat. If it makes sense so far, jump some two. If it doesn't make sense, worst case, we'll do a Q and at the end. Okay. So now I want to enter the trade. So, guys, here's how you enter the trade. At a certain point, a candle is going to come, ring your alert, because here is going to be your alert, that line. And it's going to come, and it has to break and close above that line that I put here, okay? My entry, that's my entry zone. So if that candle closes above this line, now I have to look to see where am I, when am I going to enter the trade? Same thing for the sell. The, the trade comes, close below, boom. Now I'm really like diving to the market. The way that we enter the trade is when that next candle, let's say at 2.30, that next candle open, what is going to happen between the next five minutes, it has to stay above this line. If it stays above this line between the next five minutes, I'm going to take that trade. I'm going to take that trade. I'm going to take it right away, baby, without no hesitation because that's going to confirm that i can get into that trade if that candle decide to close between the five minutes it's still diving like it's still playing here i'm not going to take the trade i'm just going to be patient and wait you understand oh one second guys i don't want to miss that trade one second you know you we don't miss out on money can miss out on money baby get my money give me my money give me my money <laughs> yo i love what i do Okay, bye. Boom. Give me my money now. Stop playing. Which trade? I wanted to. Look at the look at the trade room. I sent it. We sent everything already. Look at the trade room. Oh, already going up. Oh my God. This is so sexy. Anyways, let's continue. Uh-uh-uh. So uh, life is good. Na 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 na. Life is good. Na, 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 na. Somebody said, can't see screen. Does everybody can see the screen or it's like, does everybody see it? Somebody said they cannot see my screen. Guys, can you guys see my screen? Okay, you guys can see it. I think it's maybe a, um, a problem on your side. Just trying to refresh or log, by, log off and log back on, okay? But life is good. So let's continue. So like I said, that candle is going to open 235. If it stays above, I'm triggering that. I'm triggering that thing. All right. Oh, yo, look at, look at, oh my God. Look at all, no, no, look at all those blues. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm not going to show it. I can't show my balance. I'm not allowed to. Oh, yo, look how this thing is flying. This is crazy. This is insane. Okay, guys, let's do the exercise right in front. Okay. Let's let's look it up together, okay? Look at this. So now that candle is open, right? So that candle actually rigged my alert. My alert was right there. Now I'm looking, I'm looking at the market. And in the next two minutes, we're gonna take that trade, guys. Next two minutes, we're gonna take that. 
We're going to wait uh, seven minutes, sorry. We're going to take that trade. But before entering that trade, we got some stuff we have to do first. One sec. Uh, let me open this here. I'm trying to be like so professional as like an educator, but anyways. <laughs> okay. Everybody, please go on the website, Nash Markets. So important. The reason why I want you to go on Nash Market is because Nash Market is going to calculate your risk and reward. Let me give you an example. The reason why people lose money in, when they go to the ca casino is not because they're not good. It's not because the chance is not, is not uh, they don't have no chance. It's just because they actually don't know how much money they're risking. When you go to the casino and you tell yourself, you know what, I'm just going to risk $50. If I lose that $50, I'm out, but you're out. So you need to understand and know what is going to be my risk. Like, what is, what am, how much money am I going to risk? So let's say, for example, my balance is $1,000. I always risk, guys, 1%, 2 3%. So even if I lose the trade, imagine, guys, I lose $30, I don't mind. You don't mind losing $20 on the $1,000. You still have $970 left. But you have other people. They're not going to put a stop loss. They're not, they're not going to calculate their risk. You're not going to put any type of loss size. And their balance came from $1,000 to $500. That's what you're losing. Becoming a good trader is not only analyzing, uh, analyzing the market. It's actually knowing your risk and reward. That's the most important part. I want you guys to write down, I promise in the chat, if before every single trade that you're going to actually calculate your risk and reward, please write down, I promise in the chat. I want all your commitment because that's the most important part. You need to know your risk and reward. It's like, bro, it's like trying to drive a car without having no steering wheel, like, bro. Oh, some people, some people is not ready on promise. No gambles. And we often buy, we don't gamble. We make money like a long term. Okay. Look at this, guys. That trade opened below. I'm going to wait five minutes to see if this candle stays, stays above. If it stays below after the five minutes, my trade is invalid for now. So I'm not going to take the trade. I'm going to wait. So close above is good. Now I need that candle in the next five minutes to stay above. If it stays above, I'm taking the trade. Okay. So let's say, for example, my entry is 29388. I'm going to come here. I'm going to change it to crypto. I'm going to put BTC USD because that's what we're doing right now. I'm going to go for long. Okay. Short is sell, long is buy. So I'm going to go for long. That's what I do. Guys, between the five minutes, I have my Nash market open, and that's what I do every time. I go here, 29388. That's going to be my entry. Now, people are going to say, oh, my God, Rudy, how do you calculate your stop loss? So simple. Let me show you. One sec. Okay. You have either ways. What I love to do is the simplest thing for the brand new people. Okay? Oh, my bad. For the brand new people, this is what I do. I come here. I get my tool. That's usually my long. I go here. I switch it up to the line chart. What I do, I always put my stop loss below the last wave. Below the last wave. You know the last wave when you put your, your line chart? That was my last wave. So my stop loss is going to be here. M becoming professional i don't put a line a big uh stop loss like that anymore it's too big what i do i put it below my 50 ema because i remember if it goes below my 50 ema seller pressure is going to start it's going to be in the market so i'm just going to put it here or if it if it wasn't too far let's say my wave was here i would have put it under my under the wave and what i do every time i come back to the candles chart and i put it under the wick so it has to be under the wick because market has a tendency to always come fill the wick back up again and how do i calculate my take profit is sample 
Let me put this here. Candle uh, line chart. Next to the next wave. Above the next wave. So that was my, my wave. Before that, that's going to become my target. Drop a one in the chat if it makes sense so far. Drop a one in the chat if it makes sense. If it doesn't, don't worry. I'm going to repeat it for you, okay? I got you. We're friends. <laughs> right? Let me put a smiley face because that's my target, okay? So stop loss usually is below the wave, but now because it's way too far, I'm going to put it below the 50 MA, and my target is going to be above the wave, the previous wave. First target. Second target, above the wave. Why? Because that's what we call liquidity. There's liquidity here, okay? But that's that's fancy terms, okay? I just go with the waves. <laughs> so now, because I know my stop loss, I know my take profit, now I can go and write down my take profit here. So 39842, stop loss. 39, let's say what that was the stop loss. 39, 184. Now I click on calculate position size. Look at that, guys. Now it tells me exactly how much the lot size I should put. 0 0.13. If I win that trade, I win 30. If I lose that trade, I lose 30. If I win, I win 56. That's one trade. There's days you're going to have winning $200. The other day I was at Dre's house. I made $500, bro, in like 45 minutes. It happens. There's days you're going to have more reward. There's days you're going to have less. Okay? Let me give you guys another example. I told you I was going to give you another example. Let's go on trading view. I want to replay and give you guys another example. The more I believe, I believe that the more I give you examples, the more that you're going to understand. So let's say, for example, let me just erase all of that. We actually had, let me replay. Let's say, for example, that the market was right here. Okay? Everybody see it, hopefully? Let's say that the market was right here. First line is my alert line. Second line, when it breaks and close, we wait for the next candle, five minutes, we enter the trade. Now, because it ring my alert, I just want to become be patient before I took the trade. So here's what I'm going to do. Zoom in. I wait. Next candle. Oh, it opened. I went all the way up. Close below. You see, it closes below. Am I going to take the trade? No, I wait. Boom, I wait. Next 15 minutes, I come back every 15 just to see what the market does. Oh, look, a lot of people would have buy because it went all the way up and they would have lost all the money because it dropped back down. I wait. Now, bing, 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 bing. This candle closed above. Oh man, this is so nice. It closed above. Now there's gonna we're gonna have another candle of five minutes that's gonna open. Let me go five minutes just to show you how it looked, how that candle looked like. That was the candle. So now, what am I gonna do? Long. So my buy was here. What was the last wave? Let me go to the line chart. Oh, my last wave was right there. Oh. Wow, candle chart, 15 minutes. Oh my God. Now where, where's my take profit? Where's my take profit? Last wave. Oh my God, take profit. <laughs> I'm having fun, guys, sorry. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be like, yo, Reed is crazy, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I entered a trade. Let me let me enter the numbers. So we come here, switch it up. Ethereum, I come here, 24, 28. So 24, 28, boom. My stop loss is 23, 93. 
2393 my take profit is what 2581 2581 calculate position size boom i lose 30 dollars i win 121 dollars now i just do what i let it ride boom 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 look at that look at that look at that look look this is art this is what we call art look at that boom take profit hit made 121 dollars in my sleep it took me what 15 30 an hour two hours three hours four hours four hours and a half i made 131 i never did that at a job and five hours at a job i remember the the, the most money i made in the job and eight hours with $90, but that was before taxes. So it's like $70. <laughs> Boom. I'm good. Take profit hit $121. My, my, my lot size is 0 0.08. I took the trade. I'm good to go. I'm out of the market. Look at this. This is what I do as well. When I see that the market, for example, have reached a significant level, let's say the market is here. What I do is my stop loss now, I put it in, pro, in uh, break even. I'm going to be honest. I don't go and, and put my stop loss high. You know why? Because so many times the brokers, what they want to do, they, they want to come hit your stop loss to get you out of the market. So I always put it at break even. I always tell myself, it's either I win or I lose. So if I put it in break even, I, if, if the market comes back at the stop loss, at least I didn't lose no money, right? But I need to give him some room because he needs to move. You see, it almost hit my stop loss and went back up. What I do, what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna take partial profits. I'm gonna take some partial profits. If you don't know how to do partial profits, please hop on a call that um, Amanda does every single time. I know she talks about it, how to take trades and everything. And you can learn how to take partial profits. Let's say I'm on a, I'm a profit right now of 100, let's say, uh, I don't know, $100. What I can do is take partial profits, take $50 of the $100, and that $50 is secured. So even if the market comes back down, I at least made $50. I at least made 50% of the amount. You understand? So I'm selling profits. That's what I do. I don't stress out. I just actually know how to work the market. And now, congrats, I, I actually win that trade. You understand? So right now, we're in a trade. Right now, we're in a trade. Let me just show you guys. Um, jump on one in the chat if it makes sense what, I, what I've teach you guys so far, just to make sure, a two if it doesn't. Making sure everybody understands it. We'll do more calls like this. I love, I love teaching Swapkin Scalper. So look, that was my first line. Let me show you guys. That was my first line where I put my alert. That's my second entry. The market closed for five minutes, stay up, and I'm just waiting. Usually, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like taking trades when the, the candle is too long because sometimes. The market's going to come retrace either the 50% or come back down because we have money um, in this area. Okay, we have money sitting here and here. So there's money here. So markets love to come back down before shooting up. Okay, so when you see big candles, I don't recommend to get into it if you brand new, okay? You just wait for the next trade. This trades every single day, almost every single day. So now I'm already in profit because I took the trade like here because I already knew, but that's what we have right now, okay? So you do all that uh, on swap and scalper and you're good. Let's just look at this. Look at this, guys. Now we're just patient. Now we have two minutes left. You see? We got two minutes left, just waiting. If it close above, I'm gonna wait the next candle for five minutes. So it can stay above this line and I'm taking the trade. If not, I just wait and be patient. 
every 15 minutes. So I don't need to look at my chart until 2.45. At 2.45, I come back and see, oh, oh, okay, no, I'm just going to wait again. Now I wait, 3 o'clock. Oh, okay, uh, no, I wait, 3.15, you understand? Uh, you can take push your profits if you enter the trade at 0 0.02 and above you can close out. Yes, exactly. Yeah, she break it down every single time. All right. Guys, hopefully that helped. I'll drop up some ones in the chat if it helped you actually understand Swapcrans Capital a little bit more. Um, we're going to do more of that. I think uh, it's so important.